even before sky high gas prices and inflation, groceries in Hawaii have consistently been the highest in the nation. Not only that, but you also get shut out of every good national chain special price theme. You want a $5 foot long? I bet you do, but you aren't gonna get it here. High food prices are part of the admission. Since everyone has got to eat, I'm gonna break down your grocery shopping options, your costs, and a few ways to save a few bucks while doing it. This is by no means a complete list of all the grocers here in Hawaii. If I miss your favorite grocer, or you see a way that you save money on, on food here, please leave it in the comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And with that, let's get on with the video. I developed four tiers of grocers, local, national, niche, and big box. A local grocer would be a company that is based in Hawaii. A few examples of this would be Food Lamb, Times Market, and small grocers that you find in areas like Chinatown. National grocers operating in Hawaii would include Safeway, Whole Foods, Walmart, Target, and Japan-based Don Quixote. Each grocers operating on Oahu would include Palama Market, which specializes in Korean foods, and Ijia Market, which specializes in Japanese foods. Big box stores are going to primarily be Costco and Sam's Club, although Nijia does have a Morikai marked warehouse store, which I haven't been to. You could say that Walmart belongs in this category also, but since Sam's is owned by Walmart, it seemed like six of one or half a dozen of the other. So now that we know a little bit of the grocery store landscape, let's go ahead and do a little pricing and see what's out there. For this study, I picked six commonly purchased items and compared prices on them. Milk, eggs, carrots, bananas, chicken breasts, and rice. I picked one grocer from each category, and here's what I came up with. Foodland, Whole Foods, Palama, Chinatown, and Costco. Chinatown is kind of just being representative of all really small mom and pop markets. Here were the prices. Bread, Foodland, $4.99, Whole Foods, $4.49, Palama, $5.99, Chinatown, $5.49, Costco, $4.35, but you had to get two loaves. Eggs, large, dozen. Foodland, $5.89. Whole Foods, $3.39. Palama, $3.79. Chinatown, $4.29. Costco, $3.69 with a minimum of two dozen eggs. Carrots, Foodland, $1.99 per pound. Whole Foods, $1.79 per pound. Palama, $1.89 per pound. Chinatown, $1.29 per pound. Costco, 69 cents per pound, but minimum order quantity was 10 pounds. Bananas, Foodland, 129 per pound. Whole Foods, 149 per pound. Palama, 139 per pound. Chinatown, 99 cents per pound. Costco, 70, 79 cents per pound, minimum order quantity, three pounds. Chicken breast, Foodland, 499 a pound. Whole Foods, 549 a pound. Palama Market, 429 a pound. Chinatown, $4.99 a pound. Costco, $2.99 a pound. Minimum water quantity, six and a half pounds. Nishiki rice. Nishiki is a very popular Japanese rice here for sushi. A lot of people like it. So I decided to choose that brand. Um, there's other options, but this is just for Nishiki. Um, it's kind of a specialty rice. Foodland, $1.77 a pound. Whole Foods, $2.95 a pound. Palama, 189 a pound. I couldn't find it in either Chinatown or Costco. You can see prices fluctuate a lot. And if you were looking for a specialty item, it pays to go to that specialty store. If you're looking for a Korean cut of meat, then it just seems like a better idea to go to Palama Market as opposed to Safeway. Now, but if you're looking for a more of a general food commodity type thing, uh, it, it seems like the national and big box stores have the edge, understandably, over the local niche markets. So depending on what you're looking for is where you want to make your decision where to go. We save money on all this. That's the question. The pandemic, grocery stores got much better at updating their website on pricing and what items are actually in stock. So if you use this to your advantage, you can price shop from the comfort of your home instead of doing it at the grocery store where you might be distracted. Solidate your trip with the cost of gas being what it is Save yourself additional trips to the store and pick up items when you're in the area, even if it means just getting an item or two. Check out your local farmer's market and look into a CSA Hawaii. 
Support our local economy by keeping money here in Hawaii. Kahumana.org has many affordable produce plans that can, you can purchase island-wide and have them either delivered for a small fee or picked up at a local farmer's market. Flexible with what you eat. There are a lot of great apps and websites that will tell you how to cook something based on the ingredients you have. So if pork or chicken is on sale that week, consider buying that instead of beef. Time service your seconds. These are foods that are about to go bad or have small cosmetic defects. I've bought huge bags of bananas for $2 and frozen them for smoothies. Oftentimes the produce guys will pick up a bunch of fruits and vegetables and practically give it away. It's not the most beautiful looking produce, but it's still delicious and you're getting it for pennies in the dollar. The flip side to this is that it isn't consistent, but the seconds seem to go out early in the morning. So if you want to score a bag of seconds, best get to the grocery store early. This also works in the evening with hot food. You can usually pick up a bento or some stew for 30 to 70% off an hour before close. Make sure to check your local grocery store for timing. Negotiate. This pretty much just works in Chinatown in my experience, but prices there are always negotiable. Senior day. Almost all stores have a senior day. On this day, seniors get a 10% discount. Now you may not be a senior, but you might know one. A lot of seniors don't like to drive, so it could be a win-win situation for you both. You provide the ride and they provide the discount. The last thing I want to mention is if you're looking to stock up on dry goods, don't forget about Amazon. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get stuff shipped free to Hawaii. I recently found soup. Uh, it was a 12 can container. It was less than half price on Amazon as it was here. Same brand and everything. Also, I got macaroni and cheese for my son, or maybe for my son, but the mac and cheese, it was about 15% less delivered. Plus, I don't have to take a trip to the supermarket to get the stuff will come right to my door. So don't forget about Amazon Prime. You might be surprised. Uh, spam isn't quite there yet, but it's close. I mean, with the gas, it might be worth it getting it online. I don't know, it's up to you. Anyways, hey, thanks for spending some time with me today. I hope that you found this video enjoyable and useful. And if you did, could you please uh, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. You know what you need to do. And I really appreciate all of you. And until then, this is Spot signing off. Aloha.